Hi guys, so I don't think this video is going to take too long, but those are also famous last words, aren't they? Um, I'm going to try the fuse today with the pocket protectors, page protectors, should I say. Not so much pocket protectors. <laughs> um, from Walmart, the Pen and Gear, it's like they're kind of, I guess, I don't know, is it their store brand, but that's where you find it. So, uh, Pen and Gear, heavyweight sheet protectors. It says it has a reinforced binding edge. Of course, we don't care about that stuff. We're going to cut that off. Won't lift print, which is good to know. And PVC free. If, um, you know, I'll link the fuse there in the description box. That would be affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. Of course, I don't have links. I don't have winks. <laughs> I don't have links at Walmart. Uh, but, you know, hopefully your local Walmart has them. They're generally stationary. Well, not really stationary. The office supplies section. And there's like, you know, dividers and binders and all that stuff. These will be there. Don't want to touch it too much because, well, we can clean it off. But for now, I feel like I just said that and I'm totally going to manhandle this thing. But we can clean it off. Um, what I want to do is make a shaker for my traveler's notebook, which I didn't even bring over here because I was just <laughs> arranging other things. But I'll grab it in a minute. And since this is basically to hold a standard A2 size piece of paper, 8.5 by 11, it's a little bigger than 8.5. And, and, and I believe it's just maybe a little taller than 11 yeah it's like 11 and a quarter inches and that includes this edge now obviously they do their own ceiling it's very similar as far as like the kind of dot 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 thing that this does but this one does it a lot more closer so I might leave this and I might go over it one more time just so it looks more like what I'm gonna end up doing just because I'm just I'm not picky you guys know me you know I play a fast and loose but with this I'm like I don't want that to look a certain way then this looks nice and clean and then so I'm gonna put a, a line on here anyway with the tool even though you don't need it. Uh, again, I might go back over these guys just to see, like, we'll see what it looks like, how I feel about it. So we're definitely going to cut this top part off. Either way, I think we have to sh shorten it anyway because my traveler's notebook is 5 by 7 So I need it to be 7 inches tall, maybe a little bit shorter than that, to be honest. So probably a little shorter than that. And then... Um, and we'll talk about that when we get there as far as measuring. And then it only needs to be like four and three quarters, eh, maybe five. Maybe we'll go with the whole five. But that includes like the seam edge for me. And I'm going to make it a shaker. And I think I'll just shake her both sides. Why not? <laughs> so I need to cut this or, you know, seal it up at like 10 inches or so and at five inches, um, just depending on what I feel like doing. Of course, this is for whatever, you know, um, project you have tailored to that. So I think, I'm not sure if this is super hot yet. I plugged in a while ago. Um, I don't do a lot of, you know, the first reviews of this thing were like miserable, right? And so I always kind of knew that. And I, even if I saw it Tuesday morning for 12 bucks or whatever, I wouldn't buy it. It's been a long time since they put it out. And I have a lot of comments from you guys saying that's the unfortunate thing with me. Our memory keepers, they'll put something out regardless if it's like ready or not and see what happens. And then, you know, maybe they'll fix it or the next iteration's better or whatever. But, you know. So I picked it up this time because I am doing more shakers and things, but I honestly don't like putting a lot of plastic in the trash either. You know what I'm saying? Like adding more plastic just to have plastic on something. I don't know. But for a shaker, it's necessary, right? So we'll see what happens. But uh, <laughs> again, go over this line since it's already sealed from being a pocket. I'm just going to take this thing. And that's the other thing. This is so uh, like stiff. I don't know if I showed you guys the other day. I was like, oh, I burned myself. Yeah, I definitely burn myself twice with the pokey tool the one that's like real sharp I uh, be careful with this thing <laughs> okay so I'm gonna oh that's the other thing ruler I did get a lot of comments that people say you have to roll it through the middle section. you don't have to roll it through the middle section it's there for you sure go for it. it doesn't seal or not because if you rolled it through the middle section or not I was using the end because this thing yes it fits in there that's what it's meant for I'm all them fit in there um it would it would stop turning on me if you guys recall it was just really annoying so I rather use the edge also if you buy the new heads the tip set that go in here which I think I might um, one of them is much wider it's not gonna fit in this section anyway so and as you can see now I'm using a Dollar Tree ruler just because I want it to be longer and I have to do a little bit and then move it so I'm good I'm just gonna use this guy and we're gonna go 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 and again the only reason I'm doing this is just so that the seal looks more like the seal we're gonna make now, I don't know if this thing is hot enough yet, because I can see it did some lines, but not... I don't know if you can see that. There's like little dots where this one doesn't have them. So, let me see. I don't want to touch this, of course. <laughs> I am going to cut this top edge off, so maybe I'll just put it on there. Yeah, no, it's hot. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, just because it's a little bit ridged already from having the seal that they came with, you know. 
So let's do it again. And maybe not as fast. I am applying pressure, but just going. And it is moving. That's the other thing. The wheel, I don't know why. Every once in a while it would stop on me. Okay, so we have that. Maybe what I'll do next is this bottom seal. And then we're going to cut this top part off. So let's just leave the same amount, basically. So it looks about the same of what is on the edge here. And that'll give us a good number for the next one. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm leaving like the smallest edge. And I'm going to run up the side really quickly. Oh, here. I don't know how quick, but again, firm, even pressure. I'm taking my time a little bit. Oh, see, it just stopped rolling again. Ugh. Okay, it's doing it again there. Alright, let's see what that looks like. I can see I left a little gap, but I am going to cut some of this off anyway. That looks pretty good. There's that space right there where it stopped rolling. It's pretty tight. Okay, okay. Sorry, my son's awake and he's going to make breakfast, but he hasn't really come down to do it, and so I'm just expecting him to show up at any moment. Let's go ahead and cut off... Some, well, I guess we don't have to do that part. Let's cut off some of the top, because like I said, I want it to be about 7 inches, and not exactly, but I'm going to put this on here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe a little bit shorter than seven. Like there, so when I cut it down. Okay, and again, I'm just eyeballing this. And let's start down here. And I'm pushing away from myself. You want to pull it towards you, whatever makes it more comfortable for you. And I don't know if you can just tell my cadence on this, but I'm just kind of pushing, giving firm even pressure, and just moving right along. <laughs> not super fast, not super slow. Look at this thing. It should have that cord where it swivels, but I guess that would, you know, add another dollar to the price. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> that is really good. Now, I mean, you can also reinforce it going over it again, like, again, or on the back side or whatever, but that... I mean, I'm pushing up against that, and that's pretty good. Okay. So, what we need to do now is... I'm going to go ahead and remove this top part, and I, just, I guess I'm going to cut it with scissors. Just to have it gone, because when I put the shaker material in, I don't want to manipulate it then. But you can definitely wait till later. Um, I'm going to leave about the same amount as the bottom and side edge. So, I'm just going to go and cut this. I like when you get into the groove where it's like gift wrap when you go shh and just slide across really nice. Okay. So I'm not going to forget that when it goes in my book, I'm going to fold it like this and this is going to be facing forward. So I do have still some more of the sweet um, items that Gina had included in the flutter swap. Since I put her bird on the front, I thought, oh, I can use these guys in here too. So I'll just take one of these guys. Let's say this guy and face him out <laughs> because when I fold it over he's will be facing forward right so we've learned already and then I have still some of my mix from the Halloween uh, salt which is funny enough I was like where's my you know I always I have to keep track of my bowls I didn't know where one of my bowls was <laughs> there it is okay so let's put some of this guy in there and it doesn't have to be a ton but let's say we have that much and maybe I should have paid more attention to where that was going so that, you know, it won't be in the way. Actually, I guess I can tuck this stuff in. I don't care if it's on one side or the other because I'm going to seal this. And then on the other side, I'm going to put shaker material too. So we can just kind of mess with that. But I'm going to line this up on my grid. This is just a silicone mat. One, two, three, four, about five is what I had said. Ooh, that one's right on the line. Just one little heart. <laughs> Got to move it out. Okay, let's see that again. Uh, two, three, four, five would be this one. I'm going to bring in just a little bit short of that because I don't want it sticking out so much. So, like four and seven eighths. May four and fifteen sixteenths. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to seal this again. Steady. And I'm just using, I was looking for my Weird Memory Keeper's metal ruler, but it does have a magnet on the back so it would keep it thick and kind of up. So, this is working, just from the Dollar Tree from a decade ago or something. This pocket is working really well. Now, it's not the clearest pocket. Like, it has a little milkiness to it, you know what I'm saying? So it's not super clear, but I'm pretty happy with it. Now, we can check this seal. That is great. 
And on this back one, I think I'm just gonna put more of my glitter. I could make it a pocket like I did with the other one where it's a functional pocket. You can even add more stuff to this, I suppose, if you want to make another pocket like on the outside of the same material. <gasps> can we do that? Should we do that? How much am I going to cut off of this? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. A little less than eh. I'll have to cut another one. But if I was going to, let's say we're going to make a pocket, what I would do is put a piece of paper in here. Just like we showed last time around, I would just put a piece of paper in here, inside, so that the paper is blocking plastic from plastic. Cut the plastic material that you want and put it down here as your pocket and then just go seal it on, seal it on. And then you'll have, excuse me, and then you'll have um, sealed the pocket on. Do you know what I'm saying? So just don't seal the top. And then you go ahead and take this out and then finish sealing your pocket up the, uh, the the pouch up the side and now you have a pocket on there that would be fun okay but I didn't plan on that so here we are gonna be a quick video because I'm pretty much done here one two three four five again I'm gonna do like four and however many sixteenths which basically leaves it at five anyway because we're gonna leave that edge actually hold on I'm gonna cut this let me do my numbers again if I'm here to here it was just under five with that edge Okay, so let's do this again. I'm going to bring this in just a little smaller even than that. Because then I'm going to leave some when I cut off the selvage, the extra part there. Okay, and that's it, guys. This is uh, kind of addicting when it works. <laughs> again, I let it sit for probably 10 minutes. That's what the instructions say. Um, some people say, you know, 20 minutes, like, I, you know, I don't want to waste electricity either. So for me, that works out. So funny, there's like little witch hats in here. I don't even know if you see them. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let me go get my notebook. We'll trim this off and I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and cut off this edge. And one other thing, if you want to wrap around everything that's in your um, traveler's notebook, you probably want to leave yourself like an inch. Like I could have move this all over maybe made another inch here excuse me yeah I could have taken the uh, little fuse and just made another uh, fusion right here and let that stuff be out there and then you know fill it in and close it up but I didn't do that so just you know planning for next time so I'm gonna do is just cut this off again leaving a bit of an edge that looks similar to the other edges so it's just a little more uniform looking and let's see if we can get that going Okay, and then I'll take this and pop it in here. And I did bring it so it'll be on the front. I can probably wrap it around a couple of them, but I'm just gonna stick it around this front one, the first one here. When I open it, we have that prettiness here. Just something fun. You know, I have all my little info, and then this will be there too. Let's see, I have this guy here. <laughs> Lots of things going. Again, you can wrap it around. I can probably wrap it around this other one too, just you know, to, so that we have glitter in the back somewhere else. But that is it, guys. So I'm having fun with it. Again, very. I guess it just depends on what you want to do with it. Um, you know, making pouches or like for gifts is a little bit harder unless the item is flat. Because when you put something like I put the Tootsie Rolls, if you go to seal it, it's going to have like puckering because there's something bulky inside, right? So with that one, I would just put like a little knot on top. Um, I mean, I have this little piece left over. You don't have to use a ruler. Like, uh, ooh, let me see. I was going to say, if you want to make something like circular, you can definitely do that. This is the smallest piece, so I have to put like a real <laughs> turn on it if I was going to do that. But uh, let me see. Do I have something? Okay, I'm just going to mess around like I'm going to make a circle. But let's say you want to make something circular. You kind of have to travel faster than I'm doing right now. But you can do different shapes, you know. You just have to control your speed. Obviously, this is almost going to cut all the way through. But it did seal it, so <laughs> that's very interesting. Look at that. I mean, it's super sealed. I'm sticking my finger in there, and it's not opening. But let's say you had like a bottle cap or something. You can trace it and then just kind of go around it or go around it and hold it, which would be a little more dangerous. But it doesn't have to be just limited to straight lines is all I'm trying to say. So if there's other things that you want to seal, other things that you want to try out, just, you know, stay around the border. And I'm going to tell you right now, well, I'm tearing that. Like, ah, okay. Um, it works pretty well with these guys. Let me go back on the other side. Yeah. 
I suppose the whole thing is if you're making like a shaker, is that who's going to be in there pushing it open? <laughs> Nobody. But um, but yeah, I don't know. That works pretty great. All right. Well, I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, it's these guys. Again, if you're seeing them at Walmart, I'll just show you real quick because like. Heavyweight shoe protectors, pen and gear, 25 count, letter size. There's their code number if you're <laughs> interested. And of course the fuse tool. I'll probably pick up the other heads and we'll try those out when they come in. I know this thing isn't anything new and I'm sure there's tons of videos out there already showing you everything you can do with it under the sun. So check those out if you're interested. Uh, but for, you know me, I'll show you exactly how it is. And uh, yeah, alright guys, bye now. Be careful. <laughs> bye now.